the wrist indeed is passive at and shortly after contact on all high level forehands. Now, why would this be the case? Well, let's take a look at the wrist. Now let's position my wrist at the proper contact. Let's make sure it's the exact contact that I have in a semi-Western grip. So my wrist would be like this. So I'm gonna let go of the racket and you can see my wrist in this position. Now, if I wanted to move my wrist in isolation, I'll just hold my arm right here and I'll try to move my wrist in a vertical fashion. You see how far I get? The wrist is completely locked, which means that even if I wanted to move my wrist, I can't move it past this point. So what ends up happening is that I turn the entire forearm like this. This would indeed be possible.